guys, welcome to Marcus and Jaguar and today we're going to be talking about the new Winter Solstice Claudine Monster High Doll. Because news and my news videos are really popular, so let's get into this topic because I'm trying to upload this video really quickly. So yeah, dollies, here is the new holiday Claudine doll. She looks very elegant and I think she looks really beautiful. Is she $100 beautiful though? <laughs> Uh, no. No. This doll has been rumored to be $100, and she is not nowhere near $100 beautiful. Like, she is a beautiful doll. She is $50 beautiful. She is maybe even $60. $100? No, that's a stretch. That is a big hecking stretch. That is a big hecking stretch, you know, man? Big hecking stretch. So, yeah. um, <laughs> No, thank you. No, thank you. If she is actually cheaper, I will, glad I will gladly try or ask my parents to get me this doll for Christmas. Um, but, a court, but just based off of how last year went with holiday dolls, I am not likely to get this doll because I tried i tried man with holiday drac it did not work out my parents saw her in stores once once and never again never again they they never saw that doll again like my mom was all just like hey i saw this doll with i saw a draculaura with like super light pink hair and black stripes she looks super cool, and she had, like, a black spiderweb dress. And then I searched up an image of her, and I was like, is this her? And she's like, yep. And I was like, damn. Damn. <laughs> <clears throat> but yeah, um, sh this doll, though, is very beautiful. I hope they stalk her in the same way they did for Cleo and Deuce. Much better. Because, <laughs> wow, Mattel has... Over the past couple of years, it has been getting really bad with the stalking, with the way they've been stalking stuff. But according to, but like based off of like the alumni releases that are like the limited edition collectors, it's been getting better. It's been getting better. So hopefully we keep going with it going, getting better. Hopefully we keep get having it get better. Cause um. I really don't want to see, like, a doll that isn't, like, a collector that is in the alumni releases that is more, like, playline level that I want, but I can't have because, uh, because I just can't get it. It's, it cuts out of stock. Like, because I, I it, it's just not a good feeling when you see something that you love or like and you just can't get it. You can't get it. Because of stock, because of um, scalpers, and it being out of stock. So, like, it's out of reach. So, hopefully, this release will be stocked much better than the first holiday doll. I, but, yeah, um, back to the doll, to the actual doll. Let's talk about her. She is really pretty. She is really pretty. I love that they went for purple hair. Purple hair. Hopefully that is saran. It better be saran. I swear to God, if it is polypropylene, we are murdering this dog. It, it better not be polypropylene. I swear to God, if they do polypropylene on this collector doll that is rumored to be $100, <sighs> well, there's going to be some mad people out there. There's going to be people who are pissed. Pissed. Because I know... And you know, polypropylene is rancid. It is nasty. It is just as rancid as Annabelle. <laughs> but yeah, it is just as rancid as Annabelle. Polypropylene is rancid. We don't we don't like her. We don't trust her. But yeah. Um her dress her I think it's a two piece actually. I don't think it's a dress. I think it's a t a tube top and a skirt. It looks really fun though. It looks really funky. I like it. And the fur is just very nice. I see that they put the stand in a different place this time. 
before they put it to like the side, if I'm remembering correctly, I think they put it to the side. Or it could just be that Dracula's dress hit it better. Dracula's outfit hit it better. That could be the case. Um, because I'm seeing the indention in the package where the stand is. It's still hidden relatively good, though. Um, I like all the little decals, like the moons and the bows and the snowflakes, but they're in, like, a gold color for Claudine. While last year it was, like, in pinks, because Dragulora. Like, I like that they're doing that. I really appreciate that. It reminds me of the Disney holiday dolls, where for the first doll, it was Ariel, and they had her in her blue dress, so they did blue decorations and then for the next year it was rapunzel so they did purples and then for tinkerbell they did greens it was just very elegant and it was just very nice to look at it was just very nice to look at very very nice to look at it was super pretty and i i, I liked it so I'm, I'm happy that they're doing a similar th- tactic with it where they're having the colors be custom to each doll like the purple, ah, I love it. I love the purple. It's just so nice to look at. And then like the pink on Dracula's, it was it, it I I like it. I like that they're making the boxes individualized to each doll so it isn't just you're getting the same box every year. Like, it's the same style of box, but it's, like, different colors, so there's variation. They feel like they should go together. There's cohesion, but they still stand out from one another. There's cohesion. They look like they belong together, but they stand out. Like, it's something that you want for, like, a line like this. Where Holiday Barbie, it's just all over the place with those boxes. Don't even get me started on the Holiday Barbie boxes. (laughs) (sighs) (sighs) <sighs> um, but yeah, I honestly really like this doll. I think she's really pretty. If there's a possible chance of me getting her, hey, I- I- I'll try to get her. I'll try to get her because I really like her. And I really like Claudine and I haven't had a Claudine for a while. Well, at least a G1 Claudine. I do have a G3 Claudine. Thanks to my good friend, my good friend, who will not be named here, just in respect of their privacy. I mean, I, I, I don't even think you would be able to find his social media, but, um, you know, I'm, I'm still going to not mention just for his privacy. But yeah, um, I really like this Claudine. Um, her hair looks super curly. Which is just nice. I, I like dolls with curly hair. I don't want to know about that box hair. Don't, mm, 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 don't, don't tell me. Don't tell me how bad the box hair is. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Shh, 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 shh. Don't comment. Don't comment anything. Shh, shut the fuck up. Shh, shh, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. I don't want to hear it. Okay, yeah. Um, I really like her. I think she's really pretty. And yeah, not not much to say. Not much to say. She's just a really elegant doll. I haven't really have been having much to say about these new releases. I like Claudine here. I just think she's really elegant. I just think she's really elegant. Like, there's not much to say there. I don't know. These dolls haven't been really buying me much. Maybe I should... Maybe, maybe I need to make these more. Maybe maybe that's the case. Maybe maybe it's just that I haven't been making these very often, so I'm just like, uh, yeah, she, she's nice. Well, uh, she's she's nice, man. She's like she's like nice. She's nice, I guess. She I I will de- definitely tell you that she's a step up from Cleo. She's a, she's a huge step up from Cleo and Deuce. Cleo and Deuce had a, a set together. But it was just very boring. It it was just kind of boring. The mermaid dress... Mm-mm. The mermaid dress was not it. <laughs> Sorry. Um, the mermaid dress was not it. Everything else on the doll... Great. Perfect. 
the dress style. Mm-mm. Deuce was there. He was there. He, he did what he needed to do. I, I, I don't really have any negative feelings toward Deuce. He, he did what he needed to do for the side. You know? Like, he just stood there looking good. He just stood there looking good in his suit. Not much to say there. Cleo should have been the one to be the... Cleo should have tried to be the standout of the set. Because Cleo is always the character that's trying to be the best, you know? So it's just like... How is your boyfriend looking better than you? Little sus, man. Little sus. Hmm. Hmm. Imposter? Are you sh- are you sure you're Cleo? But yeah, um, that's weird. That's suspicious. This Cleo, this Cleo, this Claudine is definitely a step up, and I like her a lot more. Um, that's kind of all I have to say. Um, final thoughts and outro, I guess. Okay, so I definitely don't think it's doll fatigue. I thought about it a little more because I'm getting excited about the Barbie movie dolls. Like, like I, I'm always looking at those and I'm like, oh my god, I want them. But then Monster High, I'm looking at them and I'm like, hmm, they're there. Like, I'm not getting ex- excited anymore. I, I don't know. I don't know, man. Like, Twilight, I looked at her and I was like, oh my god, she's so cute. But that's kind of about it. And then Ghoulia, I also looked at it, and I was like, oh my god, she's so cute. But that's it. That's it. Anyone else? I'm just like, hey, you're there. You're there. Go. Go, man. Go, beans. So I don't know, maybe it's Monster High fatigue? I don't think it's just G3. I think it's like Monster High as a total. Because like, I've just been hearing way too many bad things about Monster High. Like, they, 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 Mattel just hasn't been doing great with Monster High's new comeback. I, I don't know, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. That's a, that's a whole topic for another video, but yeah. Thank you, dollies, so much for watching, though. I love you guys so much. Bye, dollies.